Hey card and friends, happy Tuesday. So what I have here is a mug that I'll be using as a planter. Cute, right? And I have created a drainage hole at the bottom, which is very important. And I'll show you the plants that I have for it. I have this Sedevaria hairy butterfield. It is a trailing type of succulent. So they grow really long stems and eventually trail. Oh, I love any trailing succulent or plant. And as you can see, it's that beautiful icy blue. Very easy to propagate by leaf. I have this tiny little Echeveria atlantis. Add some pink to the arrangement since I have so much green here. I have uh, Echeveria agavoids. I'm not really sure the variety it is, but it is super pretty. Light green with red tips. I have three Chrysula ivory towers, one of my favorite Chrysulas to have. Very easy to grow. And as you can see, the margins get nice and red, which makes that green pop out. And also a trailing succulent, they grow nice and long. I have this gorgeous, the only one I have. This is a Pachyphytum compactum. So they kind of look like um, Pachyveria little jewel, but as you can see, the leaves are a lot more round and plump. So they don't grow as long as a little jewel would. And they stay nice and compact. Beautiful coloring. And you can see the leaves have markings on them. Oh. And this is the only one I've got. So I take I take good care of it. And last but not least, Senecio String of Pearls. I have a tiny little cluster here that I'll be adding for that trailing effect on the side. And I'll get started with some soil. And I won't be adding a screen to the bottom of that drainage hole because I did that to my other mug and it didn't drain properly. So I, I, I want to avoid that with this one. I think that's in the soil there. Now I'm gonna make sure to keep it straight with the with the little saying here. And I'll start with my Chrysula Ivory Towers. And I will bundle them up like I want them to look. I want them to be displayed. So starting with the tallest one in the back and the shorter ones in the front. So that's how I want it to look. And I will put it right over here to the side. So the left center, long stems here. So I'm gonna make a nice deep well. Gonna place them in there. Gonna press them in, keep them together and press the soil around them. And hopefully, hopefully I can just fit all of these succulents in this mug. All right, and I think they'll stay put. Yeah, they're gonna stay put. And I'm gonna do my Pachyphytum on this side. Since it's nice and big. And actually, it doesn't have such of a big stem. So I will just poke it through, but I will add more soil. I'm just gonna level it out and I'm just gonna poke it right in where I want it to be. So right there, kind of like that. Yeah, with just that Chrysula there. And now I have three more to go, four more to go. So I want for sure the Senecio string of pearls right over here. So I'll get that in. And I will, let's see. Q. 
keep that little cluster like that. I'm gonna get these roots. I'm gonna shake off some of that excess soil and just leave the roots and kind of like just put them together and tuck them right in there. Make sure all of the roots are submerged under the soil and let me grab some more. I'm gonna lift that little tail up and make sure I get all that soil, all those roots under. So I'm gonna add more soil down there. Okay, looking good. I've got that little stubborn root. Lift it up again a little more. There we go. Okay, now they're all in there. Cute, okay, that's gonna be cute, all right. There we go, just a little one. Let's grab my knitting needle here and I see some roots. Okay, I for sure want this Butterfield in there. And probably, maybe, since it's gonna end up like drooping over anyways, I think I'll put it to the side here. Long stem there. Just a little more press it in without wrecking it. There we go. Oh, perfect, perfect, okay. I have two more. Oh man, the pressure's on, the pressure's on. Is it just gonna be this Echeveria agavoids? Cause I really wanted to add in the pink color so it would match with the Chrysula ivory towers. Oops. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So should I kind of move my compactum over here and maybe squeeze this one there and then put this one like that? Maybe that's gonna be too much. Oh no, okay. So it didn't happen for me. Didn't happen for me. And that's okay. I'll just be adding this bigger Echeveria agavoids to it. And forget about that, Lannis. I think it's just gonna be too squished in there. Where they won't be able to grow. So I'll just add this one right there. And now I'm gonna add some more soil to the back here. more soil to the front and yeah there it goes it's nestled nicely now gonna bring that compactum back to the front a little bit okay and I think that I'm done with this one yep simple. Oh, that's a cute one. It looks great. i just show you how it looks from the front. Not bad, right? I'll turn it around for you. All right. So I'm going to dust this baby off. Grab my blower. Oh man, some dirt got in there. Ooh, doesn't want to come out. 
gotta hold on to my tip there because it does pop out. Oh well. It'll come off eventually. Eventually. Clean this off a bit. stones here. I'm try and grab the smaller ones. Okay, and I'm going to start in the back. Work my way towards the front, press on those stones. running out of the smaller stones here but I don't have that much more to go And I will add, let's see, I'm gonna get some that have fallen down here. I will add some to that little hole there that I see. Perfect, okay. There we go, good. Good, good, good. Oh, that turned out nice. Okay, I'm happy about that now. Okay, I'm all done. This was fun. This was fun. It's always nice to, or fun to, work with these makeshift planters, you know. Getting something that isn't normally a planter and making it into a planter. And I like all the green. It's very nice. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye.